Any chance we'll ever get to be a completely red state and work on these unions oh, yeah. and become a right to work? Well, we'll in fact, the what big thing What can we do to help you? Well, we're going to start in a couple of weeks mm -hmm. with our budget adjustment bill. The first step is uh, we're going to deal with uh, collective bargaining for all public employee unions. Right. Because you divide and conquer. 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 An attempt to divide and conquer. Scott Walker's words. It's an ancient strategy, divide and conquer, and ultimately to divide the people and conquer our communities. And now he's been caught on videotape. That's right, so arrogant. But let me tell you, Scott Walker, I'll give you this, you're good at dividing, but we will never be conquered by you. And that is why we are here. We're going to be here today, we're going to be here tomorrow, we're going to be here every day, and we're going to turn out in June to defeat you and take our state back. Brothers and sisters, I cannot think of a more beautiful day except for June 5th, 2012. Has everybody seen the video of Scott Walker and the Beloit? to that billionaire in Beloit when he didn't know that the rest of us would see it is that his attack on collective bargaining rights for public sector workers was the first step. And he said that when he got done taking down the public employees and the teachers, that then that would open the door for the next step which is to make Wisconsin a right to work state where trade unions can have function. People say to me all the time, we have to fight this fight because of what Scott Walker did. I disagree. We have to fight this fight because of what Scott Walker will do if he retains his office. We have to remove him from office before he takes apart the rest of this state. I think it is so important for us to remember that the governor of this state said that his policy is to divide and conquer. We have a legacy in this state of Democrats and Republicans who have sought to unite us, to work together on behalf of the working people, the farmers, our communities, our schools, our public services, Democrats and Republicans working together. Scott Walker does not represent what Wisconsin is about. He doesn't represent what Wisconsin Democrats are about. He does not represent what Wisconsin Republicans have been about. He should not be our governor. To say in February and March, all he was trying to do was balance a budget and create jobs in this state when you know as well as I do and now the world knows that was an absolute sham. Yeah. That's why that divide and conquer video is so important. He was trying to strip rights, to strip away the opportunity for fairness in this state. We knew when he took away collective bargaining, that's what it was. He has now told Wisconsinites the truth. This is a state that has led the nation in ensuring opportunity for all of our children. And what does he do? He immediately goes against teachers in higher ed and in K-12 to ensure that they don't have either rights or money to educate children. And what is the result? Remember every single speech he gave? He said, this is to bring back jobs in Wisconsin. Well, let me tell you this, my friends. Wisconsin leads the nation in job losses since Walker has been governor. We as a labor movement have had to fight for fairness and justice in this 
this country each step of the way. The only way we recall Scott Walker, the only way we take back this state is to earn it. This, my friends, is life and death. Not just for us, but for anyone in Wisconsin or in the nation who believes in a fair shake, who believes that you left rather than tear down, who believes that you unite rather than divide. Will Wisconsin take back its state? Yeah. Will you be the ones that show America that fairness and opportunity and justice is alive and well in these United States of America? Yeah.